UH Warrior quarterback Tyler Gronke has been named the Western Athletic Conference Offensive Player of the Week. Gronke, who missed the first game, came off the bench and ignited an incredible second half comeback Saturday at the stadium after trailing 17-7 at the half. The Warriors rallied to beat Weber State 36-17. Gronke, 218 yards and three touchdowns. Greg McMacken has already named him as the starting QB when UH hits the road to Oregon State this coming weekend. Some bad news for former UH football star and Jacksonville Jaguar guard Vince Monowai. He is out for the season after tearing his ACL in his right knee. Monowai was hurt in the second half of yesterday's loss in Tennessee and will undergo reconstructive surgery. He was a third round pick for Jacksonville back in 2000. How's it going everybody? Not a big surprise here, but Warrior quarterback Tyler Grunke was awarded the WAC Player of the Week. In one half of play, the senior threw for 218 yards and three touchdowns to lead UH to a come-from-behind win over Weber State. However, Coach McMacken says he still won't shy away from playing whoever gives the Warriors the best shot of winning. I look at it a little differently than y'all do in that if a guy isn't doing the job, I'm not going to sit around and watch him not do the job. I'm going to get somebody else in there, just like a corner or a left tackle. I talked with Ron and Rolo. If we're struggling, then we're going to go with somebody that's been in the offense. And so, you know, I made the decision to go with, uh, with Tyler, and he did a great job. As for last week's starter, if healthy, Inoki Funaki will share the backup duties with Greg Alexander at Oregon State. And despite missing two field goal attempts in the first half Saturday, Coach Mack says they are still confident in the senior kicker's abilities. We saw it on the film. He was stepping too close to the to the ball. Before the game, he was warming up and banging him. But for some reason, he stepped too close to the ball, and he was... Uh, wasn't it wasn't him so it's something that's correctable and uh, it's not it's not going to be a problem I think uh, uh, you know in the second half we started running the offense like it should be run I think Tyler came in and and uh, his experience in the offense is something that we've needed uh, I thought he did a, a very good job I hope you're all having a pleasant evening Enoki Funaki started the game at quarterback, suffered from concussion-like symptoms at the break, and that served as a break for Tyler Grunke to see his first action of the 2008 season. For his effort, Grunke named WAC Offensive Player of the Week today. His number is 13 of 20, 218 yards, three touchdowns. And Grunke engineered four TD drives in the Warriors' first five possessions of the second half. Right after the game, Grunke was named the team's new starter at QB, putting behind him a spring and summer of academic issues that's now all cleared up. We had moved on, quite honestly, and he knows that too. I think this whole process, and I've talked to his folks, and I think this has made him a better person, and I think it's made him a better football player. And he has worked hard, uh, you know, to... Uh, get his academics and, and life in order, and uh, he is maturing as a, as a young man, and, and I'm really proud of him. Tyler will start this week on the road against Oregon State. Now, Coach Max is with Grunke as signal caller, leading the Warriors to a 36-17 come-from-behind win over Weber State Saturday, was his team's first look as a real run-and-shoot offense this season. The goal with the ball, he says, is to attack just like their defense which against the Wildcats were led by Joss Leonard's eight total tackles, three for a loss of yards. Coach says he dominated and up front. Keala just completely played tackle like we want them to play tackle. Uh, it's a starting point of our whole defense, and that's, that's why they only ran the ball for minus 20 yards is because of those two days. Coach also had praise for the performance of linebacker Braxton Santelli, an all whack defensive end, number 94, that's David Vecune. On the injury front, defensive tackle Fale Laeli hurt his ankle. He's out this week. UH should see the return of offensive tackle La Pepe Letuli. They may also get back running backs Daniel Libre and Jake Hume. How you doing, everybody? Let's talk sports. Brady isn't the only player who made week one of 08 his last for the year. Former UH Warrior and Jacksonville Jaguars offensive lineman Vince Manuai suffered a torn ACL in yesterday's loss to the Titans. The Farrington grad is a six-year veteran who has been instrumental in Jacksonville's 
Eagles run blocking scheme over the years. He had previously missed just one game due to injury in his professional career. And season also pow for Seahawks receiver Nate Burleson, who also suffered a torn ACL. The former Nevada pass catcher entered yesterday's 34-10 loss to the Bills as the number one receiver for Seattle, who's already dealing with the absence of wide receivers Bobby Ingram and Deion Branch. A double dose of Monday Night Football tonight. First game had the Vikings visiting the Packers and the first game for Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers as a regular season starter and he played pretty darn well. Second quarter on third and goal. Rodgers firing an off balanced bullet to Corey Hall. Check it out. Rodgers also ran in a one yard score. Packers mark up a victory 24 19 in the late game. A bitter rivalry renewed Broncos and Raiders pretty lopsided so far. This one in the third quarter Denver held a 17 zip lead at the half. Jay Cutler has two touchdown passes. We'll have the highlights for you tonight at 10. It's a story of redemption. UH Warrior quarterback Tyler Gronke today was named the Western Athletic Conference Offensive Player of the Week. Gronke, who had been withheld from the beginning of fall camp for personal and academic reasons, entered Saturday night's game against Weber State in the third quarter, rallying UH from a 17-7 halftime deficit, going 13 for 20 for 218 yards and three scores en route to a 36-17 Hawaii victory. You know, I'm really happy for Tyler. He gets to play his senior year, and, you know, you do the right things, and good things happen to you. You know, he's been through a lot, and he's done it himself. You know, I mean, I, like I said, we had moved on. So I really admire uh, Tyler Gronke and, and respect him as long as he continues to, you know, go in this direction. Hopefully we'll be able to build from that. That's what our job is, is to build. And... Uh, well, maybe the offense has been born now. And Coach Mack has already said Gronky will be the starter this Saturday when the Warriors play Oregon State on the road in Corvallis at 10 a.m. Hawaii time.